All right, May 30th, bringing you another sad one here. You can see this aircraft taking a very high angle of descent. Steve Sears had the security cam footage of this aircraft coming down. Not a good sign with this angle here. It was a solo pilot. You can see it was an Express 2000 RG. November 44508 was the tail number. This is the interior. I'm not sure if any of you have flown this aircraft before, any of you pilots. Um, but there's the tail number there. So again, fire is going to go ahead and get the call from dispatch. They're going to go and respond to this thing. And you can see they're on scene putting water. Was that a storage facility? Luckily, the storage facility was closed. No one on the ground was injured, which is good. But you never know what is inside these st uh, storage um, rooms. So they have to be careful there. And thank you, Standby News, for, the, for that footage. And then so here you can see they pulled hand lines. So these larger hoses are going to go to the hydrants so they can get sustained water. And then they pull these cross lays all the way to the fire there. You can see the smoke in the distance. Took them 30 minutes to put out the fire. But there you can see they got it out. Again, solo passenger or solo pilot did not survive. There is the flight path there. So it was pretty quick. Um, left from the Cheyenne Regional Airport. And then you can see 616 Crook Avenue was the address where they found the aircraft. And then you can see that storage facility there. And then you follow this road and you can subscribe down here. And then there's the storage facility again. And so we... You know, there's a Cessna 172 that crashed, and we're trying to discuss why these tragedies keep occurring. But you can watch it here. If not, this is our photo. I'm Keone. I'll see you guys next time.